Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Carla? Fine, teacher. Fine. Did yes. You work today? Yes, I work. How was your day? Busy and tired. Tired. Yes. Did you, okay. Did you assist a lot of patients? Yeah. Um, um 20 26 persons 26 patients yes wow <laughs> that's a lot of people yes well uh, but you're not going to work tomorrow <clears throat> no tomorrow oh, is is my day off mm, i know okay that's great um you're a doctor right yes yeah, and Karen too. How are you, Karen? Fine. Fine. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi. Fine. 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 You are a doctor too, right? Why? Si, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you work today? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. I was um I was sick um fine fine um uh, sore throat sore throat sore throat sore throat uh-huh sore throat it's like um okay I I okay um let me see. So you gotta. You gotta. Our throat. Uh huh. Eso es un dolor de garganta. Oh, sore throat. Yes, you had a sore throat. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't work today, or yes, you did. Well, um, what about you, Iris? How are you today? Uh, now, a uh, warrior for coronavirus. Um, <laughs> yes, I imagine you're worried because of the virus and because you will have your children at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I suppose that's the most stressful part. <laughs> I think that um, it is, it's too much stress for the situation, I know, but we have to try to keep calm because if not, you're going to get sick because of the stress. También nos podemos enfermar del puro estrés. Lo super es, por lo super está reventado. Yo creo que es más peligroso el estrés que el coronavirus. <laughs> Es increíble cómo ha salido la gente a la calle a comprar cosas. Sí. El tráfico, ir al super es imposible. That's too much stress for the situation. We only pray. <laughs> we just have to pray. Solo encomendarnos que no nos vaya a dar esa cosa. And that, and, okay, enjoy your children. <laughs> Hay que disfrutar a los niños. <laughs> Okay, no school. Okay, but well, uh, we're going to continue with yesterday's topic just to make a review. Uh, we were studying about the going to, right? Yes. That was the topic that we were studying. Today we're going to finish the first unit. Vamos a terminar la primera unidad, la primera sección. Entonces ya tendrían que tener los ejercicios de esta primera sección bastante completos. Yes? yes. Okay. Uh, so we were studying the going to for intentions.
Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. So, let's take a look to this conversation. We talk about holidays, right? So we're gonna talk about this specific holiday. Okay, uh, so you see the topic of this conversation is have a good Valentine's Day. Can you describe the picture that you see here? What do you think is happening in the picture? Uh, woman, people, happy. woman and men. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, you see presents. Uh, okay, they are looking at the window. They are like window <laughs> shopping. You know, window shopping. Window shopping. Okay. Well, let's listen to the conversation to see what's going on, and then you tell me if we find new questions about vocabulary. Page 75, exercise 8. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's listen and read. Then you tell me if you find new words or vocabulary. Conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, did you find your vocabulary? In vocabulary? Fancy. How fancy. How okay. Fancy. fancy es elegante. Uh -huh. ah, elegante. Huh? Any other? Oh. <coughs> sounds, sounds like fun. Okay, sounds like fun is like suena divertido. Oh, sounds de sonido. Es como suena diversión, suena divertido. Uh -huh. Suena divertido, okay. Todo que significa, teacher. Which one? So. So, it's an expression like, como si dijéramos entonces, así que, depende cómo se use, puede significar, bueno, esto tiene varias, como, incluso tiene que ver el tono en que lo diga, porque si yo le digo so, es como si le digo entonces, so, pero también significa Y, como decir, y entonces, y, y puede ser empleado mal, ¿verdad? <risa> Dependiendo del tono, porque si, por ejemplo, me dijera, I am hungry, yo le digo, so. Así <risa> 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 como, ¿qué importa? ¿Lo <risa> <risa> que quiere que haga? <risa> ah, so. Entonces, también quiere decir, entonces, o así que. Uh -huh. Así que en este caso es como decirle, uh, ¿y entonces qué vas a hacer en San Valentín? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué vas a hacer? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué planes tenés? So, uh -huh. and intonation is important in English. Remember, always remember that. Okay. Vamos a repetirlo. Le voy a poner pausa después de cada oración para que ustedes lo puedan repetir y practicar pronunciación, ¿ok? 
Page 75, Exercise 8, Conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? So, Tyler, so, Tyler do, you do you have, have any plans for Valentine's Day? day? Mm -hmm. I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. I do. I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. My girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. At Lagunas, At Lagunas. It's her favorite it's her restaurant. restaurant. Huh. How fancy! She's gonna like that. How fancy! How She's gonna like that. She's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? How about you? How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Well, I'm not I'm going to not go to a restaurant. restaurant. I'm going, I'm going to, to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Sunlight's like fun. fun. Well, well have I have a good day. Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Thanks. You too. You do. Escuchan bien, no están oyendo como masticado. Escuchamos bien y repetimos masticado. Ah, es que yo oigo como que se oye una segunda. Ah. Como una repetición y se oye como, como, que, como que fuera un cassette viejo masticado. <risa> Pero ustedes escuchan bien. Sí, ok. Uh, volunteers to practice the conversation. Volunteers. Carla, ok, I have Carla. Who wants to practice with Carla? Iris, okay, Carla and Iris. Um, so, Tyler, do you have any plan for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> At Laguna. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, fancy. She's gonna, she gonna like that. How about, how about you? What, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. I am gonna go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, hmm? have a good Valentine's Day. Yeah, you too. Okay, very good. Good job. Uh, uh, solo escuché una palabra. ¿Qué está siempre de, de, de problemas? Favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. Favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. Favorite. 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 Okay, one. Uh, Favorite. Another couple, otros dos. Another two volunteers. Um, <coughs> Mona. Yo, yo. Karen? Yo, yo. Soy yo. Karen and? Patricia. Okay. ¿Quién es? Um, Mona. So, Tyler, do you have a plan for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for me. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Lagunas. It's her favorite favorite restaurant. How oh, fancy. She's going to like that. How oh, about that? What are you 
going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I am going to go to the, a dance. Sounds like um, Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. You too. <laughs> you too. Thanks, you too. Okay, very nice. Casi que quiso dar problemas otra vez, favorite, ¿verdad? Favorite. Sí. Se me olvida. Okay. Um, any other two volunteers? Yo voy a tomar. Okay, Felipe, and who goes with Felipe? Wants to practice with Felipe? So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? Can uh, falta de practicar? Okay, let's see. Um, can be I have Felipe and Abigail. Can you practice with Felipe? Yes. Okay, Abigail. Start again, Felipe. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I am going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to really? can I eat? At Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. I'm, I'm gonna go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, have a good Valentine's Day. Very good, nice job. Okay, let's continue. While we have been studying the uh, how to use the going to, we use it for plans and intentions. Okay, so habíamos dicho que el going to lo vamos a utilizar para hablar sobre planes e intenciones, ¿verdad? ¿Qué más habíamos dicho? Planes a futuro. Proyectos. Planes a futuro, intenciones. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember the structure. Vamos a recordar las estructuras. Vamos a hacer un uh, como repaso de cómo se utiliza el este siempre va a llevar um, estas son las funciones del be going to ok uh, to show future plans for example uh, what are you going to study when you finish secondary Susan is going to travel this weekend ok and we have studied the, the affirmative Habíamos estudiado que en forma afirmativa, para hacer oraciones afirmativas, primero escribimos el sujeto y dependiendo del sujeto, una forma del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh, um, aquí tenemos gabo, luego el verbo to be porque estoy hablando de él, ¿verdad? Entonces usaré is, como el verbo to be es am, is, are. Luego, going to... Después de going to, voy a usar un verbo. Write, en este caso. Complement a novel. Gabo is going to write a novel. Another example. Can you read the next example, Karen? Um, a. Okay. Um, 
they are going to buy a house. They are going to they buy are, a house. They, they are, sería el sujeto, they, son ellos, are, be, going to, buy, ma, es bear, y a house. Completely. Ajá, aquí está el mal, I going, con G al final, ahí lo corregimos. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Felipe, Ajá. can you read the next example, Felipe? We, so yet. we are going to have an exam. Ok, we are going to have an exam. Esa es la forma para oraciones afirmativas. Ok, para negativa dijimos que vamos a usar sujeto, luego el verbo to be, quiere decir am, is, are, y le vamos a agregar not. Luego lo mismo, going to, verbo principal, complemento. ¿Eh? For example, they aren't, this is are not, they aren't going to buy a house. Albert isn't going to write a novel. We aren't going to have an exam. Ok. Eso era para la forma negativa, como ya lo habíamos dicho. Ahora, en preguntas, tenemos uh, dos tipos de preguntas. Estas son las que se conocen como yes, no questions. Porque la pregunta um, se formula uh, en este caso, acá, verbo to be, va a ir primero. I'm this Luego el sujeto, going to. Verbo principal, complemento y signo de pregunta. De estas, la respuesta puede ser sí o no. Uh -huh. Tenemos aquí, veamos cómo se sigue interrogative, right? Verb to be, aquí está, al principio is. Luego el sujeto, Albert, Albert. going to, Albert. verbo principal, right? Complement, a novel. Y siempre vamos a responder utilizando el verbo to be. Is Albert going to write a novel? Yes, he is. O oh, no, he isn't. O oh, no, he's not. Are they going to buy a house? Yes, they are. O oh, no, they are not. Are we going to have an exam? Yes, we are. Oh, no, we are not. Depends. Questions? Hay preguntas acá? No. No. No question. No. Okay, let's put the verbs into the correct form using going to. Por ejemplo, esta es una oración, ¿verdad? It. Ok, donde dice, quiero ver, solo esta es pregunta, la 7, la 9 y la 10 son preguntas. Hay oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas que hay que poner en orden de acuerdo a la estructura que acabamos de estudiar. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno y luego lo revisamos. Okay. Por ejemplo, en la primera, it y dice rain. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración? It is going to rain. Ajá, it, it is, is going, going to, to rain. rain. Ajá, it's going to rain. Going y así van a ir haciendo las demás. Uh -huh. They is, they are, they are. They are.
finished? Oui. No. <laughs> We are at one, two, three. Finish? Finish. Finish. Okay, um, let's see. The first one, number one, it is going to rain. Uh, number two, Karen? They are going to eat. They are going to eat. Excellent. Carla, number three? Carla, let's go. It is do you have number three? La verdad no supe bien que quería decir la oración. Ah, Stuart. Stuart and I. Stuart and yo. Are going to. ¿Cómo queda esa? Stuart and I. Si estoy hablando de Stuart y yo. Es nosotros, right? Cuando hablo de nosotros, ¿qué forma del verbo to be voy a usar? Ajá, entonces quedaría Stuart and I are going to work where blue shoes tonight. Ajá. Stuart y yo vamos a vestir zapatos azules esta noche. Mm -hmm. Ok. Number four, Patricia. Eh, we, aren't, eh, we aren't going to help you. We aren't going to help, help you. you. Ok. Help you. 
We aren't going to help you. Mm -hmm. That's the answer. Abigail. Number five. I am not going to spend my holiday abroad this year. Excellent. Uh huh. Number six, Carla. Number six, Jack is not going to walk home. Yes. That's the answer. Thank you so much. Excellent. Uh, Felipe, number seven. Number seven. Are you going to cook dinner? Excellent. That's the answer. Number eight, Karen. Karen? Uh, Sue is not going to share her biscuits. biscuits. Excellent. Yes. Sue Hello, is Sarah? not going to share her biscuits. Yes. Excellent. Um, Carla, nine. Are they going to leave the house are they going to leave the house excellent that's the answer abigail do you have number 10 okay patricia <laughs> who has number 10 felipe Is she going to take part in the contest? Yes. Is she going to take part in the contest? That's the answer. Yes. Yes. What the meaning? In a, in a cinco? Abroad. Oh, abroad is extranjero. Can you repeat the question? Let, let me see the, the, the presentation again. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, holiday abroad this year. Uh -huh. abroad. abroad means in another country. Abroad significa cuando usted se va a ir a otro país. Uh -huh. Abroad. En el extranjero, exacto. En el extranjero. Ajá, no voy a, no voy a pasar mi vacación en el extranjero este año. Uh -huh. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Por el coronavirus. Ah, sí, ya nos tienen cuarentena todo ese virus. Biscuits son como unos bizcochos, galletitas. Any other question? Ah, cuando se refiere a take part. Tomar parte. Ajá. Contest es un concurso. La pregunta no, es si no ella tomará parte del, ajá, que si participará en el concurso. Ay, ¿por qué le pegaron al chucho? <ríe> okay. Ajá. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue with the next part. Okay, esas eran preguntas, las yes, no question. Acuérdense que también hay, ¿cuál es el otro tipo de preguntas? Ok, son dos tipos de preguntas en inglés. Son las sí, yes, no question. Ajá. Este es una you, are you going to visit new place? Puede ser, are you going to visit 
a new place on vacation? Esta es una yes, no question, como lo que acabamos de ver. Are you going to visit a new place on vacation? Ajá, la pregunta es si va a visitar un nuevo lugar en vacaciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Are you going to visit a new place on vacation? Ah, digamos que la respuesta sea afirmativa y yes, I am. Ahora le podemos hacer una WH question. Solo le agregamos al principio la WH word. Podemos preguntar where. Are you going to go on vacations? Where? Are you going? ¿A dónde irás? Lo podemos dejar hasta ahí. Where are you going to go? Uh -huh. Si se fijan, casi que va igual. Aquí está el verbo to be, sujeto, el going to, y luego el verbo principal. Solo que al principio vamos a poner una WH word. ¿Cuáles son las WH word? When, when, when how, what, 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 how, who, which, which Uh -huh. What? What? Uh -huh. That is the difference, basically. Uh -huh. Aquí hay algunos ejemplos, right? Where are you going to eat? Ven la pantalla, sí. ¿Qué ven a mí? No. Quiero ver. Ahora sí, aquí. Aquí hay un ejemplo. Where are you going to eat? Es it? What are you going to do? Aquí hay otros ejemplos. What are you going to for Valentine's Day? Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's Hoy. listen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí Hoy. podemos dar la información que se nos está pidiendo como está acá. Let's listen. Vamos a escuchar. Page 75, exercise 9, grammar focus. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. How is Mona going to get to the dance? She's going to drive. She's not going to take the bus. Where are Tyler and his girlfriend going to eat? They're going to eat at Laguna's. They're not going to eat at Nick's Cafe. Okay. So those are some WH words. Okay. And WH questions here. Now, in this exercise, you have to practice by uh, with the correct form of the verb to be. For example, here, where we have the subject you. So, where are you going to the verb spend? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to spend summer vacation? Where are you going to spend summer vacations? My parents and I are going to are visit. going to visit. Uh -huh. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Porque al incluirme yo, mis padres y yo vamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Are going to. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Who are you going to? Y las vamos a ir haciendo en el cuadernito, solo las respuestas para que no copien todo el ejercicio.
No. I don't think I Finished? No teacher. No. Okay. I have a finish. Okay, Felipe, can you give us the answer for number two? Number two. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Bye, bye, bye. Excellent. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Um, and next. In part A, la otra parte, la respuesta. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Yes, that is the answer. Excellent job. Uh, number four, well, this is number two. Number three, Carla. Mm, what, what are you going to do? For Halloween. Uh huh. And the answer? I don't know. I am. I am not, not going, going to, to do. going to um, do anything. Anything oh. special. Excellent. That's the answer. Uh, number four, Iris. Do you have number four? Mm -hmm. oh. Who is your how is your parents? How is... Ok, vean, ahí está. Tus padres. Tus padres es plural. Your parents. Tus padres. Entonces se convierte en ellos. How, They, are. how, uh -huh. are, how are... How are your parents gonna, gonna celebrate New Year's? Eve. Uh -huh. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Good. And the answer? They they are going to go. They are going to go to their 
neighbor party. Excellent. They are going to go to the neighbor's party. Excellent. And number five, ¿quién falta? Karen, yo. Patricia, ¿quién dijo yo? Yo, Patricia. Ok, Patricia. What are, what are your sister going to do for her birthday? Ok. Your sister se refiere a tu hermana, sí. por lo tanto se refiere a ella, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Your sister. Entonces, yes. what yes. is, ajá, uh -huh. what uh -huh. is, uh -huh. ajá, porque estamos preguntando yes. por una tercera persona en singular, your sister. Your sister, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. estamos preguntando por su hermana, yes. what, ajá, yes. uh -huh. what is your sister going to do for her birthday? Yes. And the answer, Abigail? Hello? Ajá. Usted Ay, levantó la mano. Pero ya la dijo otra persona. Pues, y no la tiene mano. la respuesta de las cinco. Sí, la tengo. Cinco, sí. Ah, pues denos la respuesta de las cinco. Desde el principio, desde la A o solo la, la B. B? La B. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Ajá, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. That's the answer. Good. Ok. Veo que hicieron un muy buen trabajo acá. Ahora terminamos la sección 1. Así es que esperaría que completen los ejercicios de la sección 1. ¿Cómo van con eso? Yo mañana comienzo. Ok, mañana. Ok, that's fine. Me too. Ok, perfect. Ok, those are some ways to celebrate. Esas son algunas formas de celebración. Special occasions. En ocasiones especiales. Esto también es parte del vocabulario que tienen ahí en la plataforma. Special occasions and ways to celebrate. ¿Cómo se celebra? Let's listen. Page 76, exercise 10, word power. Ways to celebrate. Part A. Listen and practice. Decorate. Eat special food. Go to a parade. Give gifts. Watch fireworks. Play music. Go on a picnic. Wear special clothes. Okay, estas son algunas formas de celebrar. Uh, questions? ¿Hay alguna pregunta con este vocabulario? What's fireworks? Es ver luces o... Fireworks son como juegos artificiales o pirotecnia. Juegos pirotécnicos, como las luces campero. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, another question. A parade. Parade es un desfile. Go to a parade significa ir a un desfile. Go to a parade. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For example, people in United States or people in California celebrate New Year's. For Julie. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yes. For we celebrate Independence. Uh, in Independence Day, you can go to a parade to celebrate. Uh -huh. Or you can go to see a parade. Puede ir a ver el desfile. Uh -huh. Any other question about vocabulary? Give, gifts. give, give. Give. Okay, give. give is dar. Gift, regalos. Dar regalos. Give gifts. Ajá. Give gifts. Son formas de celebrar. Ok. Any other question? No more questions. Where a special class, dice ahí. Class. Where, ajá, uh -huh. where a special clothes. Clothes. Es que no clothes. Ah. Acá está. Clothes, ajá. Uh -huh. Es vestir ropa especial. Uh -huh. 
Ah, uh -huh. Wear special clothes. Vestir, usar ropa especial. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora vamos a practicar repetir este vocabulario. So, listen and repeat. Page 76, exercise 10, word power. Ways to celebrate. Part A. Listen and practice. Decorate. Decorate. Eat special food. Eat special food. Go to a parade. Go to a parade. Give gifts. Give gifts. Watch fireworks. Watch fireworks. Play music. Play music. Go on a picnic. Go on a picnic. Wear special clothes. Wear special clothes. Wear special clothes. Okay, good. Okay, those are ways to celebrate. And then uh, al final de la plataforma tienen una lectura donde es What are you going to do on your birthday? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do on your birthday? Vamos a escuchar qué van a hacer estas personas en su cumpleaños y luego podemos buscar nuevo vocabulario también. Page 77, exercise 12, reading. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Mm -hmm. That's a very strange tradition, right? Imagine, well, well, the tradition is to pull, pull on the ear. Imagínense los que ya estamos en los 40, que nos salen 40 veces cada oreja por el cumpleaños. <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions about vocabulary in this part? I went to eat birthday is once Wish, to I wish. Am am going to, to wish, to wish es desear. <laughs> to wish me a happy birthday para desearme un feliz cumpleaños. Mm -hmm. uh, pull, entonces es jalar. Pull, ajá, alar. Eso, pull oh, wow. es alar. Mm -hmm. Jalar, decimos nosotros. Alar. Pull. Ajá, pull es alar. Jalar. Jalar, ajá. Ok, now let's listen the next one. Vamos a escuchar la, la siguiente. Kame Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, question. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. Uh -oh. Keep. <laughs> Envelopes, sobres, envelope. sobres. Uh -huh. Lucky envelopes son como sobres de la suerte. Acá no son sobres, son regalos de sobre. La palabra envelope es sobre. Uh -huh. Envelopes. Uh -huh. envelopes. Uh -huh. noodles, noodles son espagueti, son esas pastas como colochas. Uh -huh. Como nubitos. Uh -huh. Okay, let's listen to those two. Yoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Mm-hmm. Vocabulary. Teacher. Yes. 
Teacher, eh, yo no escuché nada o, o no se había puesto el, el, la, la pronunciación. ¿Te no escucharon? Pronunciación? ¿Cómo no? Yo no nadie, escuché nada. Nadie escuchó nada. ¿Cómo no? Sí, sí. Yes, teacher. sí, sí se teacher. escucha. Ha de ser yes, problema teacher. con su dispositivo nada más. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, so vocabulary here. Aquí está bien fácil el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Tal vez esta vez es un chaleco. Por rojo. Ajá, le van a regalar Vamos un sombrero ver, rojo ver. y un chaleco ah. rojo. Chaleco. So, chi so children often give something red as a present. ¿Qué significa? Por lo tanto, los niños con frecuencia regalan algo rojo como como un presente, como un regalo, un, un regalo de color rojo cuando okay. se cumplen 60. Ok, vamos al último para finalizar. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Mm -hmm. Opposite. Yes, it's the opposite, right? Es lo opuesto. People take you out. La, la gente te invita a salir. People take you out. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, with this we finish the section number one. Hemos finalizado la sección uno. Hemos visto los contenidos de la sección uno. Así es que, bueno, ya están listos. Cualquier cosa, ejercicio, dificultad, háganos no saber por el chat. ¿Sí? Okay, Good night. Okay, so see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night, take care. Good night, take care. Good night. Good night.